hi all hope you all are doing good as the continuation of my last video which is described what is human resource management and hr basic functions here i would like to explain in detail what is hrm and hr responsibilities as well so once again welcome all of you to the next session human resource management and hr functions part 2 so stay tuned So we can start with what is human resource management. HRM is the art and science of acquiring, motivating, maintaining and developing people in their jobs in light of personal, professional and technical knowledge, skills, potentialities, needs and values and synchronization with the achievement of individual, organizational and society's goals. Let's go through the definitions given by eminent authors. According to Ivan Kevich and Gluak, human resource management is the function performed in organizations that facilitate the most effective use of people, that is employees working in the company, to achieve organizational and individual goals. Now we can move to the second definition given by French Wendel. According to him, human resource management as a recruitment, selection, development, utilization, compensation and motivation of human resources by the organization. I think it's well clear uh, what is human resource management with this definition. As next we are moving into the second session of this video that is HR functions as we all know. And a good number of people think HR is to hire and fire only. What do you think about it? But it's a common misunderstanding that people do. Even though hiring is a basic function, HR department has to do play many of other functions rather than this. Anyhow, we will start with the basic function as we all know, recruitment and selection. Even when these words, I mean recruitment and selection are using together, they are different in both meaning and function. First we can start, what is recruitment? Recruitment is the process of searching the candidates for employment and stimulating them to apply for the job in the organization which means searching the candidates by different ways like posting job ads, using a reference, approaching recruitment agencies, etc. Whereas the selection involves the series of steps by which the candidates are screened for choosing the most suitable person for the right position. Simply what we can say, choosing the right candidate for the right position at right time. Now let's look at the third function that is training and development. It's one of the key HR functions. Most organizations look at training and development as an integral part of the human resource development activity. The turn of the century has seen increased focus on the same in the organizations globally. Now let's have a look at what's training. Training may be described as an endeavor aimed to improve or develop additional competency or skills in an employee on the job one currently holds in order to increase the performance or productivity. For training to be effective, it has to be a planned activity conducted after a thorough need analysis and target at certain competencies. Most important, it is to be conducted in a learning atmosphere. Although it may not be entirely possible to ensure a sync, but competencies are chosen in a way that a win-win is created for the employee and the organization. Now let's move to what is development. Lots of time training is confused with the word development. Both are different in certain respects, yet components of the same system. Development implies opportunities created to help employees to grow. It is more of long term or futuristic in nature as opposed to training which focus on the current job. It also is not limited to the job avenues in the current organization but may focus on other development aspects also. Mm -hmm. 
Next function is compensation management. Simply compensation is the monetary benefit which is given to an employee or worker giving their services to an organization. Compensation includes components like salary, wages, bonuses, etc. The compensation provided helps in motivating the employees build their career and ensure that they are committed in achieving the company goals. As we all know, everyone is contributing their skills and abilities for monetary benefits itself. Fourth function is employee benefits and relations. First, we can have a look at what's employee benefits. Employee benefits or perquisites, commonly known as perks, are the different compensations provided to employees besides their regular wages or salaries. This may or may not be monetary. They include insurance like group, health, family, accidents, etc. Then recruitment benefits, sick leaves, vacations, education funds, etc. Then what's employee relation? Employee relation refers to a company's efforts to manage relationship between employees and employees. An organization with a good employee relation program provides a fair and consistent treatment to all employees, so they will be committed to their jobs and loyal to the companies. Now let's move to the final one that is legal responsibilities. Human resource professionals are responsible for strategically managing employees within an organization while remaining compliant with laws that govern employee rights and employer obligations. Statutory complaints and HR refers to the legal framework which organization must abide by with respect to the treatment of their employees. Most of your company's time and money goes into ensuring compliance to these laws. Simply, it's a legal framework that the company must comply in order to ensure the well-being of its employees. Now it's time to summarize the session. We started with what is human resource management with two simple definitions. Then we moved to HR major functions. First recruitment selection, second training and development, then compensation management, fourth one employee benefits and relations, final one HR legal responsibilities. I hope you have got an overall idea about the same. Anyway, I round off the session here. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe and support.